Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. This is Nasir Rahman from YouTube channel Expert Yourself. In this video tutorial, we will be learning how to do bivalent coherence analysis in R. So let's do it. First, let's open our R script. Spelled as test dot R. Now, um, in order in order to do bivalent analysis. Uh, we would uh, be uh, we would be doing bivalent analysis here with the bivalent package in R. Uh, uh, if you have not installed uh, it, you can do it by clicking Tools, Install Packages. Then right over here, uh, bivalent. Bivalent and then install press the button install as i have already installed this package therefore i don't need to reinstall it again so um, then i have to import uh, the library of bivalent to r if your data is in excel form and you want to import it in form of excel then you should uh, import the library of read excel and for plot purposes, plotting the bivalent coherence, we need ggplot2. Let's run this also. Now import our data. Now let's check our data. There are 2439 observations of three variables. Let's check what are these three variables. Uh, these are basically, uh, the, the first variable is date, the second is x and the third is y. We are basically doing the by bivalent b mean by means two. Therefore, we would be uh, doing the by coherence analysis of x and y. For this purposes, we have to create two time series, uh, two time series, uh, the one for x and the other for uh, y, and each of them should contain the date. But if we uh, create a time series with date we could face some problems uh, because there could be some missing values in date for example if uh, you can see in the line 6 th there is uh, 8th April 2011 and then it uh, directly jumps to 11th April uh, 2011 so there are almost laps of 3 days almost 2 to 3 days so in such uh, in such type of uh, cases, uh, you you would, would not be able to run the bivariate uh, function. Therefore, um, we would create our time series in another way. How we would create? We would create t1 for uh, x variable, and in place of date column, we would uh, uh, we would add a column that starts from one and it goes to 2439 this value is basically in accordance with the number of observation of your data frame so if there are 2439 observation you should start from one and go still this value if there are 10 then you should write for 1 to 10 if there if there are 100 observation you should write or 1 to 100 so let's run t create t1 series and now create for y variable create t2 series now on number of and uh, rents number of simulations we want 10 simulations random simulations therefore let's run this command now you have also uh, uh, check uh, missing values in these two series so let first check uh, t1 for missing values there is zero it means there is no missing value then uh, check t2 for missing value there are two missing values so um, if uh, you run uh, directly uh, the wavelet uh, uh, code or function mm, you want you would receive an uh, error message in order to avoid or overcome that problem we would convert these missing values to zero let's run this command so now there would be no missing value into t2 series let's run now the wavelet coherence of in order to calculate the wavelet coherence of t1 and t2 we have to run this line of code now it would take some time it starts from 0 10 20 30 up till 100 
now you can see that wtc.ab which we have uh, obtained or calculated through this line of code now now let's uh, plot our uh, our um, wavelet by wavelet coherence for this purpose let's uh, define the outer margins and the inner margins let's run this command now it uh, the the uh, code or the function that is written in line number 25 26 and till 23 it's a bit complicated which i would explain right now let's run this command it would take some time and here a plot would appear now so this is the plot now uh, let's uh, uh, define uh, or let's explain this function uh, so that you could uh, clearly apprehend what uh, I did in this uh, line of code this is basically the plot function it plots uh, wtc.ab which is basically the wavelet coherence of time series 1 and time series 2 uh, plot a is equal to true, true. Mm, if you make it true then you would see the arrow arrows in this uh, plot if you make it false uh, if you make it false or f you won't see then you won't see any uh, line of uh, like uh, uh, arrow arrow signs in this plot these arrows are shown in this plot only because of um, plot phase is equal to true so um, this is uh, the explanation of this line of code now x a x and t is equal to uh, n what what it does if you uh, if you check this uh, plot there is nothing mentioned on the x-axis or nothing written on the x-axis only there is the lab which is basically the label which is basically airs while on the y-axis there are these values so this uh, uh, x-axis is basically uh, left blank because of this uh, command now uh, and why I have uh, left it blank over here because I want to plot here the airs my starting uh, my, my data starting uh, air and ending date I want to express uh, or mention these airs on x axis if uh, I have not written this command then there would be appearing periods uh, and uh, if I again draw uh, the line uh, 31 code uh, to uh, like the uh, right are mentioned the airs on x axis then there would be um, periods and also airs so it would mix and uh, uh, make this uh, plot more confusing so this uh, uh, with the help of this code the x axis of this plot is blank now uh, l uh, l T Y dot C O I C O I basically means co uh, con of uh, this is basically the con of influence. What is the con of influence? What is meant by the con of influence? Con of influence is basically this gray line. This uh, gray line. So um, we have given it a value of one. Um, for type of line one you can uh, if you if you want another type of uh, cone then you would write over here two and so on if, uh, color color of coi is gray this is col dot coi cone of influence color is gray if you check it in the plot you can see that this is gray this cone of influence or coi or conical shape is uh, gray only because of this then line width of the coi it is true and lwd dots uh, sig it is basically the line width of the significance it is kept as two and arrow dot uh, lwd the line width of the arrows is kept as uh, 0.03 and the length of the arrows is kept length this is basically for the length of arrows it is kept as a 0 0.08 if you change it uh, make it uh, like uh, larger or smaller you can uh, 
like uh, uh, this is the length of these arrows the length of these arrows is fixed with the help of this line and on y lab means what is written on the y axis x lab means what is written on the x axis on x axis only years is written whereas there is no number or values written on this because we want to mention here the years and plot cv plot cv means color bar color bar is this bar if you want this color bar in this plot then you may then you should write uh, over here t r true uh, and if you don't want then uh, write over here f or false and main is equal to wavelet coherence x versus y so this is the title which is uh, clearly uh, mentioned or seen over here so um, this was the explanation of the plot but what is written over here now uh, as I, uh, I told you that I want number of errors over here therefore I have to first uh, the check the length of time sheet uh, of the first column of the what is the first column first column is basically date so I have to first uh, check uh, or uh, assign a value uh, or find the number of uh, observation or rows in time series 1 or time series 2 you can uh, uh, here it is written as t1 you could write over here as t2 it doesn't matter if you make it as t1 or t2 so um, that's from this code here you can see that the n value is basically 2439 rows our observation now in order to uh, write uh, on the x-axis the number of errors uh, we would uh, run this command written as 31 uh, 31st line now uh, you can see here that uh, side side is equal to 1 what side is equal to 1 mean side is equal to 1 is basically this x-axis if uh, uh, I want to work on y axis then I would write uh, mm, here uh, inst uh, 2 uh, instead of 1 this is x axis side 1 y axis is side 2 and this uh, upper line mm, x axis is 3 and this uh, right uh, y axis is 4 I want to work on side 1 therefore I have written over here x is side is equal to 1 now whatever is mm, written over here 8 so uh, all these things are all these codes would be uh, run on the x axis it starts from 0 and ends at 260 why 260 why not another value this is basically it is basically my data is daily data and in a year of 365 days there are 262 number of working days therefore uh, uh, 262 working days therefore i have written 260 to make it round like uh, 262 mm, mm, like i don't want to write over here 262 therefore i have written working days as 260 if you have early data then you should write over here as uh, 12 because there are 12 months in a year now labels what I want over here I want to label the x axis uh, from 2011 till 2020 because my data starts from 2011 and it ends at 31st December 2020 therefore I have written over here as a starting year of my data and ending year of my data and I want to uh, like proceed it over as one it would start from 2011 and 2012 13 14 and so onwards up till 2020 so let's execute this line of code and see what happens now you can clearly see that the errors are appeared on the x axis so um, let's zoom it So now you can see over here the x axis uh, this is the title these are the arrows and uh, y axis I have uh, mentioned the number of errors and this is the color bar which is 
like mm, plot over here but if you save it then it would be saved in this form it, it would not be uh, in this plot so this is how we can do bivariate coherence analysis in R using the bivariate package it is worth it to mention that uh, you can do these uh, analysis in wavelet form uh, function where the conical shape is it is it is downward and in uh, wavelet uh, form uh, package it is upward it's uh, like uh, what you can say that uh, it is opposite in wavelet uh, form package so this is how we do by analysis in R. Thank you. Thanks for watching.